Our world is pretty amazing when you think about it. Packed with powerful resources that let us create things like skyscrapers and sports cars, the sky is the limit on what we can do, almost literally. However, this also comes at a price. As we burn fossil fuels to power these things, greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, or CO2, are spouted out into our atmosphere, working like a giant thermostat for the Earth, raising temperatures. The more fuels we burn, the more CO2 is released, and things start to get a little toasty. Our current fossil fuel usage has put CO2 levels above 400 parts per million, and it's only increasing. So, how do we fix this? With wind energy. You know, those white windmills that are seemingly everywhere. A single one of those turbines can power 500 homes, and in 2013 alone, wind energy avoided 95.6 million tons of CO2, or about the same as taking 16.9 million cars off the roads. That's a lot of sports cars. Wind energy not only cuts down on CO2, it also saves H2O. Wind energy doesn't use water during production, which will save an estimated 30 trillion bottles of water in the US by 2030, or enough to fill about 6 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. Wind energy is also cheap, with very few operating costs after the turbines are built. With all these important benefits, wind energy will be an important tool for future energy production. Our world is pretty amazing, and wind energy will let us keep using the resources it provides for whatever we decide to build in the future. Hopefully, that includes flying cars.